Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And that's a 12 by 16 inch canvas and some Meaden, M-E-E-D-E-N, black paint to create a wet background. I love this stuff because the black is so black. I don't really need to worry about having anything left uncovered. This is an OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula. Highly recommended by everybody who wants to spread paint easily and quickly and evenly. I want to take my Dutch pour method for leaves, which I tried to convince people were flower uh, feathers <laughs> last time, and uh, and actually make a feather form. I don't know if it's going to work. Nobody may ever see this video, but I'd like to try. I don't need striations, I don't need feathers, like stripes in the in the feather. I just want to make the shape. I could always drag a fork through or some sort of little tool through if I wanted to have some sort of, whoa, texture. I'm going to put that in the bucket after I get rid of what's on it. And I'm going to take some golden hour. And I'm just going to make myself what I consider to be a long shape. And also, once I have it down, I'm going to put some of the uh, Amsterdam black. This is that was a purple flash from Folk Art, a color shift in color. That's a dioxazine purple from Hobby Lobby, modern, no, Master's Touch. This is the electric blue from Arteza that's metallic. Here's some turquoise that I made with iridescent pearl fine to make it metallic and shimmering. What other color do I want in there? It's a definitely exotic feather, <laughs> for sure, for sure. I want some green gold in there, I think. And maybe a little more purple. And I've got some... I like... I really, really like this amethyst metallic purple from... I was going to do a background. But maybe I'll just do other feathers if it works out. Okay, so somewhere here. There we go. There's my black. That's got pre-stained wood conditioner in it. Where's my blow dryer? Here goes nothing. straw I wonder if my fork is still around somewhere here. Nope. But I do have, whoa, one of my new little tools. And I gotta think about what color I want my quill. And just use spatula. Like I said, if I want some striations, I can do that. 
I have some paint left over from the last painting. And I think it might make a good quill color. If it doesn't, I guess we'll find out together in a minute. But it's what I've got. And I can use it as a different color right up the center. So that was quick. And it worked at least as well as I was hoping it would. I'm going to see if I can fake out this section. Just even it up a little. I probably don't need to worry about that, but since it's working, why not? And I really could put a little more, bit more even. That is the hot orchid from Color Art. Kind of like the idea of a point on my feather. Although it may not belong there. There might be. Somebody knows about feathers way more than I do, so if it's not supposed to be pointed, I apologize. It's a beautiful feather for me, though. I really like it. And I'm going to put a little tiny dab right where I wiped up that drip. I hope it's not too dry. I need a paper towel. I got a little tiny drop of... Nope. Yep. There we go. Tiny drop of what accumulates in the straw when you blow through it too much. Never seems to go away completely. Probably one reason people started using airbrushes. Alright, well, it's flawed. But, bring my spatula back. leaving a sizable amount of paint on the tip of the spatula so that I can manipulate it to the shape I want. I call it done. Right after I torch. Let's grab a little bit more of this. I didn't think about nudging the paint before I did this, but it works pretty well. I kind of want another color up there. And I like my purple flash. almost as much as I like the prism pour hot orchid. There we go. Simple feather. I could probably put more in. Maybe there will be another time. Let's continue on with fixing my edge. My OCD kicks in when I see the uneven edge. And since some of the colors are the same, it works out pretty well. Put some of those little fluffy things in that are at the bottom of feathers. Try and leave a nice round tip. Okay, that's it. I'm done. This is Priscilla Van Selen, Springo, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying check out 1900 videos on 19 lists of 100 and also separated into topic and genre. Who knows, I might actually at some point in time want to add more feathers to this. But uh, it might be a multi-stage process because that's really, really pretty. 
I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting. If you are somebody who does donate through PayPal or Patreon, I, for, I prefer PayPal, you'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing, and you can find the icons for both PayPal and Patreon on the lower right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. Uh, the link tree is right below the video, and it has my Amazon link, my website, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students and for also seeing tomorrow's video posted the night before. My community board is another place to see tomorrow's video posted the night before. If you want to ask me questions, please, please feel free. I will communicate with you as I can and I'll let you know if I know the answer or if I don't know the answer. My link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My email address is below the link tree. If you are interested in making a purchase, it's the best way you can possibly support the studio. If you can't support the studio by making a purchase, your support you support the studio by watching the videos longer, that's number one, by sharing them and by liking them, giving me a thumbs up, and leaving your comments is important too. So I really appreciate any one or all of those things together. If you want to contact me via my email under the link tree, it's E-A-S-P-B, the word gallery spelled out, at gmail.com. All you need to purchase a painting or to inquire about the purchase of a painting is the hashtag and the file number in the title of the video uh, that you are watching or interested in. If you're looking for shopping opportunities, I have Le Gallerist on my link tree. There's beautiful stuff there now. And if you're looking for less expensive op options, Teespring Clothing has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And that's the stuff you see below the video. And if you click on any of it, it'll bring you to a place where you can see lots more. If you're looking for uh, my Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and More, that's got links to Pixels.com and Fine Art America, where there's over 1,400 items that are then made into bazillions of items. My community board, I told you about, let's see, my Amazon link, if you shop there, it's at no it cost you, and it helps me out eventually to buy art supplies, and I really appreciate that. If you are newly subscribed, please be welcome. If you are not newly subscribed, thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed at all, we'd love to have you. Please join us. We'd, we welcome you. Please, please, by all means. I'm not sure what I'm missing. There's always something, but um, I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I said that already. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. Easy feather. Bye for now.